different problem that you're faced with when you cook. That's the beautiful thing about being a chef, you never stop learning. Well, as that famous talk show host would say, <laughs> he's our number one brand. <laughs> <laughs> we are not worthy. How are you, my darling? Award-winning, one-of-a-kind chef Curtis Stone is here at your last series of shows until thanks. Well, after it Thanksgiving. It is, yeah, until which is like, yeah, cuckoo. December. All right, when you see what Chef has done for us, and you know what, when is bakeware more than bakeware? Oh yeah, it's your beautiful cookies, but it's your meatloaf, it's your roast, it's your pastries, it's your french fries, it's your cookies, and oh, so much more. Oh yes, it is. It's a like sheet pan party. Special. The good news is Curtis has reserved at least a few of these for me. You know I'm a super fan, and I know you are too. Award-winning Uber chef, whether it's Top Chef Masters, whether it's Biggest Loser. When I said earlier, when is a bakeware set more than a bakeware set? When it's our today's special. Because when you think about it, I use in my kitchen, and you're probably the same way, fry pans and sheet pans more than anything else. Because we use them for Moms of America, we use them for french fries, we use them for cookies, we use them for roasts. If you're doing steak, if you're doing tarts, if you're doing anything from pastries and cookies and sweets and savories and everything in between. This is perfect. Remember, it's almost like a buy one, get one, get another one because normally two pans are $40. We say conservatively $60. So yes, you get the big mama jama, the one you're gonna use for everything, the 12 by 17, the Goldilocks pan, the 10 by 15, and then of course the nine by 13. All you do is pick your color of choice. We want to hear from you. It's not only his birthday, it's your last <laughs> bakeware and last today's special until after the Thanksgiving season. And even cheese is no challenge for you, Chef. I know, I'm a cheesy guy. You and are. He, I'm not gonna stop right now. Look at this, this is melted cheese on my sheet pan. Whoa. I'm showing you this because I want you to see how nothing will nothing. stick to the Dura Bake. Okay? Isn't that Literally awesome? nothing. Whoa, 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 and metal utensils. Oh, Oh yeah, no problem. On a sheet pan. Hey, by the way, we're celebrating Chef. You're the biggest part of the party, so stop by and say hi. Sure, Everything sure. is on five pay flex pay. That's crazy. Which is cuckoo. Can you show that pan again though, Chef? Because I yeah. think every mom, everybody Thanks, watching sure. in America, we have the pans of shame, right? right? With the residue from last Thanksgiving, last Christmas, well, cheese fries, look, never all you're, happens. All you're gonna do is wipe it clean and it is gonna look like this the entire time you own it. And Bravo. that's a promise. It's really a beautiful pan. You're gonna fall as in love with it. It's hot. Uh, sorry, Michelle, I don't wanna burn you um, as we are. Now, if you were watching us just a couple of hours ago, I'm just giving you a news flash. This will take 30 seconds. We have this kinetic thermometer. The way you activate it is by giving it a shake. It will tell you the core temperature of whatever it is that you're roasting. Now, please understand, we are down to our last thousand of these. This will be sold out halfway through this show. If you want it, give us a ring and get it now. Next news flash, these three-piece utensil sets. We have just a couple of hundred of these left. I promise you they'll be gone within the hour. They are absolutely beautiful. The turner you'll see me using, the spoon and the spurtle. So please pay aware, be aware, I know we're gonna sell out of stuff, so Give us a ring um, if, you're, uh, if you're interested in okay, those. Okay, my Get Arrested Red is sold out in the utensil set, so, and there are only 100 left in the gray. Okay. I am jonesing to get that kinetic th thermometer. It's such a beautiful oh, thermometer. Look at this. And so is breakfast in the evening. Beautiful. Look at this. This is a frittata with mushrooms. Wow. I've got broccoli in there. There's some spinach. Have a look at the cleanup on the pan, That's though. Crazy. So this is one of my favorite colors. This is the green. I also really like yeah. the turquoise, um, but that green, it's kind of like a honey. <laughs> Hunter Green looks really beautiful and so, so simple, right? Now, beautiful. I was just mentioning... Yeah, can I ask you a stupid yeah, question, though? Please. Because when people look at this, you know they're saying, oh, I know how TV works. They spray something on there. They rub something on there. Right. They, that's not... Is this well, what everybody will experience please, when they get it at home? Please go and have a read of the yeah. perfect five-star reviews of everybody saying nothing sticks to that pan. Nothing sticks to these pans. You know, pans. there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Please give us a ring if you have it. We would like to hear from well, you. We would. 
what we're doing here is there's no tricks at all. Nope. We're doing exactly what we promise you. Um, it, it will work exactly so as we say it will. you didn't pre-treat. You didn't know bait and switch. Oh, well, we pre-treated it. Let, let me explain how we pre-treat right, exactly. it. We pre-treat every <laughs> single one of them. Okay, so well, let me run you through the animation because this technology will really help you understand exactly how we make it. We start with carbon steel. So it's very, very strong, very, very hard. It will not bow. It will not buckle. It will not, you know, pop, you know, like some of them do in the oven. Then we put four layers of the non-stick, not just on the interior of the pan, 360 degrees all the way around. It makes it eight times stronger nice. than any other cookware on the market. This can go up to 450 degrees in the oven. Those cookies that you're seeing, they slide right on out. They do. Everything releases from the pan, and I'm going to do some side-by-sides to prove it to you. <gasps> We've sold over 45,000 of them just today. Yeah, we are on absolute fire, and you guys know it. You know, we've sold 1.6 million pieces of our Dura pan. The Dura bake is its little brother, and it is doing so, so well. It's a phenomenon. Same technology. It's going to take it's going to take your cooking, your baking, your roasting to a whole new level. All right. Well, Here's the difference. Yeah, this absolutely. one is the this is the Dura Bake, right? Nothing yeah. sticks. Nothing sticks. This one clearly is the, the bakeware that you've oh. probably got at home. Yep, stuff sticks. You know, can I get in there and get under some oh, of these? Man. Look, some will, some won't, right? The yeah. problem is the cleanup and of course the food. So release. all your hard work. I mean, you spend how many hours right. in the kitchen getting the dough the right consistency and rolling it out to the right thickness. And then if if it's lost in kind of the right. removal of the product, well, Shannon, you've wasted your time. This this is, this is white chocolate. Yeah. We've melted it and just poured it straight over. Look how perfectly um, it is set there. Beautiful. And it just releases so, so easily. Oh, um, look at Oh, we've that. got a caller. We do. In Here fact, go. let's go to Mississippi. Uh, Lucretia is calling. Lucretia, say hi to the birthday boy. Hi, Lucretia. Well, hello and happy birthday. Why, thank you very much, my darling. How are you? Hey, Lucretia, have you yeah, owned his bake? i good. Good. Yeah, so, nice Lucretia, what made you decide to get our today's special? Well, uh, I bought four sets of the three pan that go in the toaster oven or oh, countertop yeah. oven. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know, I've always wanted the sheet pan, yeah. so I ordered the larger as well. Good girl. Good but work. I do have a question. Sure. Yes. With the trivets, because I've also bought uh, at least eight trivets, <laughs> um, some to give away, some that I'm using myself. Yeah. If I use them over... One of the sheet pans. Uh huh. What like is this? better? Because you were talking about using the sheet pan for doing the turkey or the turkey breast. Right. Well, Would it be best to just do it on the sheet pan or put the trivet over it? You know what? It if you want to lift it up, especially if it's a whole turkey, you're going to get the air circulating all the way around. If you don't, you can just remove that trivet, no problem at all, yep. and it will cook perfectly in there. You might want to throw some vegetables yeah, down, like some juices, carrots sure. and you know, some onions for yeah. those juices so it doesn't get soggy. Yeah. Great question, Lucretia. Awesome. Yeah? Lucretia, thank you for the call. Hey, the trivets thank are you, sold sweetie. out. The final call, I think, last 1,000 or so mm -hmm. on the three-piece utensil set. Yep. Also, don't buy all of them. I've got to get my hands on the kinetic you better, thermometer. You better get your iPad out. Because... I, I know. You're exactly right. So, final 700 of the thermometer, and mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at the little Aww. pan that can. Uh, we'll get my jug pan out here, because you know I'm oh, in yeah, love with that thing. Oh, yeah, let's get a jug pan. But, Chef, let's talk about features and benefits again, because right. when I said earlier, when is bakeware more than bakeware, mm -hmm. you have, you've elevated the whole experience, but sweets and savories and meatloafs and, and sheet cakes, I yeah. mean... Oh my. Well, look, this is, you guys are so sweet, by the way. Rochelle's made me a little yes. birthday cake here. Um, and, you know, look, uh, here's, here's what's so cool about it. I'm going to cut into this as much as it kills me because it's so pretty. But what I'm going to do is cut into this and then underneath, here's the best part. Yeah. This cake was baked in the pan, right? right? Then. And Rochelle, okay, by the way, get Rochelle's book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big brain on Rochelle. You can find out the secret to her sticky buns. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> she's got sticky buns and she's not afraid to talk about it. So, you know, I remember baking with my mom and it's like, everybody's got like their little kitchen witchery. It's like, oh, I grease it and then I flour it. No, I use this particular spray. What did you do to that pan? Nothing. You know, Nothing. we just poured the cake batter right in there yeah. and, you know, it just releases. And we're always excited too. Yeah. Every time mm -hmm. it comes That's out, we're true. like, look at that. 
that. I know. <laughs> By the way, uh, Rochelle has some great tips in her cookbook, which is so dynamic. I mean, it's so fun to read. Beautiful right. pictures. And it was written around the bakeway, it was, by the way. It was, absolutely. Yeah, so everything in there makes this sense. This will be your essential addition, kind of your Bible in the kitchen with great little stories and tips and tricks and techniques and the whole nine yards. Uh, so final quantities on the cookbook, Thanks. final quantities on the Today's Special. Rose got hers in the red, Chef. Oh, yes. Okay. Rose. Hi there, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi. How are you, Hi, sweetheart? Hi, Curtis. Nice to meet you, darling. What's going on? Oh, I'm so glad to have a chance to speak with you. <laughs> I'm going to have to come out of retirement and get a job, Curtis, if you keep this up. <laughs> come, come work with us. Here, come on in, You're Rose. You're hired, Rose. Exactly. Well, you know, I, I love to cook. My family loves what I cook. But now you've got to make me a baker, getting these oh. pans. So I'm really looking forward to it. Absolutely. Isn't it crazy? And I'm looking for <laughs> and I like the slicer very much. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a very good idea. Yeah. Is it, can can yes, I ask you a question? Please. Sure. When you make the jelly roll, is mm -hmm. that a cake mix that you put on the pan, or is that in your cookbook? Uh, oh, good question. That that's actually in the cookbook. Yep. Yeah, Rochelle. Yeah, that's the vanilla the vanilla cake. Yep. Yeah, oh, the milk it's chocolate. The vanilla cake. cake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll There's, be done. It looks wonderful. It's so Isn't good. Isn't it so great? Ooh. And what I'm showing you right now, too, Rose, just so everyone at home can see as well, this is my kinetic thermometer. I'm able to tell the core temperature yeah. of those ribs to make sure they're cooked through. You'll never, ever buy a battery for this. All you'll ever do is give it a real quick shake, That's and that'll genius. bring it to life for the next couple of minutes. There you um, go. And, and away you go. So. I know. Hey, Rose, did you have one other quick question before we scoot along? Well, I wondered if uh, Curtis would ever make a uh, electric uh, slow cooker. Oh, oh that's a nice idea. Good idea. Uh, you yeah. know, that would really be great for those who do work and even those who don't and want to get out a little bit and have something ready when they come out. For sure. It's a great idea. Rose, we great use it a lot. suggestions. Yeah. I, we used to have kind of like this versatile cooker that was, mm -hmm. you know, you could fry in it and slow cook in, but I know our buyers watch these shows. Rose, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. Lovely chatting to you, my darling. All right, darling. the famous bear claws, right? I mean, right, so I'm just picking up the corn and the... And the uh, the beautiful um, ribs there, and then watch this clean up. Okay. Hey, okay. by the way, it's official. The three-piece tool set is gone. All right. We also have a four-piece available. And, Chef... That's totally gone. Is it in all yeah, colors? Yeah, totally okay. gone in all colors. Yeah. So that's just a damp towel. And that's a damp towel. A damp and we, towel. Were, we were cooking these ribs for yeah. almost two hours. Right. We put them on just after the last show. So you can that's see... That's like a nice, sticky look, barbecue glaze, It's just too. totally cleaned up. It is. Hey, by the way, uh, I call this the, the little jug, the little pan, the can... Anybody who sees this goes absolutely bananas. They lose their minds. We're doing it at a special price. I think they're only like a thousand or, so, or two thousand, something like that, uh, right. to go around. Yep. Uh, I think, Steve, am I saying this correctly? Like a little over two thousand or only two thousand? Uh, it's the only airing yep. that's going to be coming up. It's my little pan that can. <laughs> it is coming it's up. It's a beautiful uh, pan. And the thing is, whether you could do how, how many eggs do we normally put in this? Like a full oh, dozen? Yeah, no more. I think more you could put like dozen? sixteen. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, from tea to boiled eggs and everything in between. Speaking of tea and eggs and everything so in between. This is the one that I've just pulled out of the little toaster oven. So by the way, you guys, my oven is still available. There's just a couple of hundred of them left. I've just taken my mac and cheese out. Here's the thing about Thanksgiving. You always need a little e extra oven space. You always need an extra sheet pan. You always need yes, an extra pan. So now's the time to be picking this stuff up. But have a look <gasps> at the mac and cheese. Just slide whoa. on out. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's oh the Dura Bake at work. Well, hey, Steve, I know this is my first shift back from vacation. Can you tell Donna to order me that kinetic thermometer in black? <laughs> <laughs> E either that or they're going to have to bring my iPad out here because I was in such a rush <laughs> to get to the set. If that is not the ooeyest, gro gooeyest, creamy, incredible? and watch this. Watch this. So this is wow. the this is the cleanup, and this will be your cleanup every single that's time. Insane. It literally changes the way it you does. can cook. By the way, that's what I call the by request pan. Right. Uh, you know how Rose was asking for a slow cooker? Uh -huh. These are, these are the pieces. Chef, chef listens to you. So, of course, this is your Mac Daddy. This is your 12 by 17. I use this pan between this and his fry pans. I use them every single day because remember, it's more than just 
cookies and pastries and things of the season, you'll bake, you'll roast, you'll sear. You know how sheet pan dinners right. are all the rage right now? Oh, yeah. Brussels sprouts to meatloaf and everything in between. Then, of course, I call it, sorry, I'll separate it, the Goldilocks pan. The one that you'll use for absolutely everything. It's the just right size. So that is your 10 by 15. And then the by request pan, right. which everybody was asking for for their toaster ovens at 9 by 13. What are you going to show off now, Chef? Well, look, this is a sheet pan, literally a sheet pan cake. We call it a sponge cake. I'm just going to go ahead and plop it on down, give it a little tap, okay. and then pick it on up and have a look at that. The cake just pops right on out. And again, no spray, no oil. Have a look at that. It's so, so simple. So let oh, me put man. that down. Okay. Um, if you notice, guys, I'm using these beautiful oven mitts. They're silicon mitts down here, so they can go up oh, to 500 degrees. Like and then yeah. material there. If I turn it inside out for you, you'll see it's that nice sort of soft material on yeah. the inside as well. There's only about a thousand of those yeah, to those go as well. We're getting too. down to that business time of the night where everything's starting to sell out. So all I'm doing with this sheet pan is rolling it yeah. in a cloth, right? Yep. I will now let it cool. Then when I unroll it, I'll fill it up with cream. Right. And then you end up with oh, this beautiful thing. so easy. But you know what? We've all had those experiences, whether it's a, a, a vanilla cake or a sponge cake, something of a lighter consistency where part of it sticks. Right. And then you roll it out and you've ripped like a hole and, you know, everything right. that you're trying to accompl accomplish. Well, that well, never happens with this, chef. It, it really doesn't. So, look, if you're doing a jelly roll, this is actually a pumpkin spiced mm. um, cake. So, it just makes life so, so easy when you've got the right it, tools. It does. By the way, I know someone was asking about that vanilla cake. I found it in the cookbook. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it sure did. It, it should be called better than fill in the blank ad adjective of choice. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm definitely more of a savory person. And every time Michelle makes this cake, I'm like, okay, my eyes are rolling back in my head. Uh, so, try Rochelle's cookbook cookbook, so many tips and techniques and great ideas. You know, the thing is, this makes you an instant expert. And, you know, with our extended holiday return policy, this is your no-fail solution to, yes, looking like a superhero during the holidays, but beyond, hey, you know what? Th th those Super Bowl Sundays, I'm doing nachos and nothing is sticking. And look at this. So, I'm literally, this is just baked on cheese, you it guys. Is. It's, again, just sliding straight out of my wow. pan. The best part of all, of course, is there's no buckling, None. no mess hardly any nope. cleanup. You I've never got... hear that ping nope. in the oven. You know that no, ping you don't. where things are bending. Don't and stop calling us, by the way, you guys. Give us a exactly. ring. We got a great call there from Rose, but we'd love some we'd more. We'd love to hear from you. For so sure. No kidding. From sheet pan dinners, you can do sheet pan scampi. You can do meatloaves. You can do nachos. You can do your brownies. You can do roast and everything in between, macaroni and cheese. And it still blows my mind. You just wipe Look, it Look, you're clean. just wiping it clean. You just now, wipe it clean. If anybody Amazing. has got this at home, they will know that this is yeah. their experience, it, too. It's true. It's Remember, this exciting. is it for the year guys on the bakeware is a today's special it's kind of like buy one get one get another one chef listen to you these are the sizes that you need these are the sizes that you'll use just pick your color of choice we love that uh, blue that turquoise blue the beautiful? gray the red they're all going when's the last time that you felt good enough to present a roast on your your sheet pan i mean it's crazy so this yeah. is this is a, a standing roast rib at six pounds this is on the smaller of the three by the way right. so she goes to show even that is still a generous yeah. size Let's pick up our, um, our standing rib. You see, I'm using my bear claws yeah. there again. Would you ask about those bear claws? They always sell out whenever Chef is here. Again, I'm going to show you this one more time, and I reckon this will okay. this will basically be the last time I get to present it. All right. Do you You're know what? Lindsay, get my iPad. I need to order <laughs> yeah, another monitor. I'll give you this one. Don't worry. Okay. So check this out. So you see that window yeah. is blank. There's nothing there because there's no battery in this contraption. It runs off kinetic energy. Genius. I shake it, and look. Boom, it turns itself on. It will last forever, it, okay? Yeah, that will forever, never, yeah. ever break. You'll nope. never need to put a battery in it. You have some soft settings here, so I can go ahead, stick that in. Okay. It's going to tell me the internal temperature. So if you're looking at this here, we're at 124, 124 Fahrenheit, okay? What does that mean? You turn it over. Here we go. We've got beef, 130 oh, nice. is medium rare. So yep. this is still really cheap. quite rare. And by this... the way, Mark, can I do this? 
just real quickly, because I, I operate visually, and I know you probably do too. When we say it's, I call it the buy request pan, mm -hmm. because everybody said, yes, it will fit in your toaster oven. Right. So a lot of times people try to do little mathematical measurements in their mind. Seeing is believing, folks. It's going in your toaster oven, in any standard toaster oven size. So if you're not fortunate enough to own Curtis's, then of course, no worries there. Mm -hmm. And Oh, and so that is your nine by 13. So that's your nine by 13. I'm putting it back in. Okay. This is the yeah. benefit of cooking with a thermometer. I know it's rare. I don't want it rare. Right. I want it medium right. rare. Exactly. So it needs another 10 minutes, Rochelle. Okay. Stick it back in, nice Sounds high heat good. formula. Let's finish uh, it off. All right, and remember, all ovens save, what, 450 Absolutely. degrees? 450 all the way to 450 degrees. degrees. 450 now, degrees. 450 degrees. by the way, you guys, that standing rib that you just saw go back into the oven, it's Angus pure, it's, it's grass fed, mm -hmm. and it's available. We started the day with just a hundred of them. I'd be surprised if we have more than 20 or so left. If you want one, give us a ring. For sure, it's okay. I know you're all fancy with your <laughs> roast, but just like a kid, you know, at a video store, I'm like, what does Rochelle have? <laughs> Bring me that I, lasagna. I spied pasta. Look at this. So, so sheet pan lasagna? It's a sheet pan lasagna. Oh, love it. Look at this. It literally just falls out of the pan. Oh, come Look, on. Look, Shannon. Do you know what? Outside of your pans, I've never made a lasagna that there isn't probably br that brown baked residue right. for years well, and here's the, years, here's right? The, here's the cleanup on our lasagna. Unbelievable. You literally... Just go through this, give it a real quick wipe out. Don't forget to pick up Rochelle's book. This recipe mm -hmm. is in there and it is delicious. Look at that. Done. Okay. From your house to your table. <laughs> How nice is that? <laughs> and I you mean, can't screw it up. You it's, can't screw it up. That's the best thing about Rochelle's recipes. They're really easy to follow. They are. They're really, really beautiful. I'm using my Santuku knife. I'm sorry Which I, I keep mentioning knives, so many products, but, but you know what? Know, they're I, all available, I, guys, so Curtis, get them while they're I'm here. I'm glad that you do. By the way, Chef Curtis Stone, our number one brand here at HSN, everything that he's done has been a customer pick. This is his last series of shows before Thanksgiving. He's going to change how you cook in your kitchen. In fact, if you go to Facebook, the last couple, when I was home, I told uh, Chef that I was home, I, as many of you know, I purchased your cookware for my mom. And yep. yeah, she uses other stuff. I made her, I don't care. I, I only used Chef Curtis's cookware and bakeware when I was home in Minnesota. You've probably seen a couple of the pictures on Facebook. You can't screw yeah, this stuff up. I am telling you, it is gonna, it is a, it's a game changer for sure. And that's why we mentioned the other peripheries uh, because the thing is, Chef, just like the kinetic thermometer. <laughs> I said it. My thermometer is gone. Mm -hmm. I'm very upset about that. <laughs> I have one in red and one in black. Take your pick. Okay. Because I promised my I wife will. one too. So. Uh, all right. This is what happens for the final show. Of course, pop by and say hi. We've got the little pan that can. My famous jug pan is also coming out with the only airing of the visit you, in just a few moments. So, Chef, what do you got there? It's another pan uh, that we've in. just done, like a different type of pasta uh, bake. So this is okay. like a rigatoni. I'm going to put my um, oven mitts on again. Okay. Give this a little shake. Okay, watch this. All right. Out she rolls. And this, see how... Mm. I mean, can you believe it? Like, oh, come I'm on. not even using a spatula or a spoon. How, mm. who, who does that? It's crazy, that right? That is crazy. But you know very well, every mom in America, every dad for that matter, we all spend our time in the kitchen. Uh-huh. We all have those pans of shame. I'm just telling you right now, this, if I were doing it in a regular bakeware pan, yep. there is no way you'd be wiping it clean. I'm wiping that, it that's clean. That's a soaker, not just a soaker, but an <laughs> overnight soaker. And look at this. This is that crispy cheese. Like, that didn't get there by itself. <laughs> we oh, had wow. to bake it in the oven, you know? So, yeah. of course, you can beat these pans up, mm. no problem whatsoever, mm. and they work every single time. Hey, can I ask you something on these oven mitts? They sh yeah. So... I'm gonna, I didn't ask him this for a show. If I have boiling water, is it like one of those silicone things where I can touch things that are really like boiling hot? Oh yeah, you can put your hand in boiling water up to here, of course. Oh, I was afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm saying it under my breath, like you're not gonna hear me. <laughs> you know, the microphone's on, the microphone's on. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, Victoria's like, they're never gonna let you go ever again. Hi guys, you've what do you like more? Do you mind. like the black or the red? Well, you know what I'm gonna you pick. You like to get arrested, right? I mean, she always wants to get arrested. A okay. hundred left in red. That's it? Oh my goodness. We started okay. with 3,000 of these. All right, so yes, the, you can put your hand in boiling water. Okay, so what do you got okay. there, so, mister? Look, this is what you'll be using this pan oh, Rochelle, for day in, day out. Oh, Rochelle, don't take the lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I took turkey, cranberry sauce, um, some uh, some spinach, and I just threw it in, right? So because, you know, whether it's warming up a pizza or doing a grilled cheese like this, um, a tuna melt or something like that, we've got like a little wow. kitchenette at our house. It's where me and the boys go down. We have movie night down there. Oh, um, so and fun. that's where I sort of, I make the popcorn, but I also yeah. do the grilled cheese sandwiches. So these pans live down there for me because right. we've got one of these little sure. toaster ovens and mm. it just makes life so, so simple, you know? Oh, wow. I'm Is that so you, good? When I say from lasagna and meatloaf and prime rib and torts, fish... Sam, so this is another sheet pan dinner. Mm. Salmon, broccoli, um, uh, all this different stuff here. Thanks, wow. Rochelle. It's, uh, oh, I know, man. Rochelle, I'm going fast. I told you I was coming out <laughs> with energy this last show because, you know oh what, guys? I'm super excited. We've had an incredible day here today, and I know, I, I know we're getting to that part of the day it is where final literally call. everything's it, it selling is. out. And so. you, know, I, you know how much I, I love Chef and Rochelle. Uh, over 2,000 new faces. Hey, by the way, uh, Chef Curtis Stone, you've seen him, Biggest Loser, Sh uh, Top Chef Masters. He's our number one brand. Everything here is on five pay, flex pay from him. So that means you're looking at less than a $6 bill. Okay, if I were going to one of your award-winning restaurants, I'm not getting that for five bucks. You sure aren't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, no. <laughs> Look, this is just one of those real quick, simple weeknight dinners. You know, it's beautiful salmon with some vegetables. But here's the thing. Instead of eating something out of a box, right. which you're probably considering, right. sure. you're now able to pull dinner together in 15 minutes, wow. and it's delicious, it, and it, it just takes it seconds. Is. In fact, you know what, Rochelle? I'm, they're gonna, Mark, what can we do? Because we've got so much food here. You're doing stratas, you're doing frittatas, you're doing sheep pans. You're doing, oh, oh beautiful yeah. roast pan chicken. I mean, check this out. Then, you so see you're doing pork chops, you're doing sheet pan party lasagna. We took the nachos away, but Mark, look at this. I mean, we've got macaroni and cheese, we've got torts, we've got cheese that didn't stick to anything. Right. We've got <laughs> salmon, we've got look, peppermint bark. There's we've the got, pan that we roasted the chicken in. You know, it's crazy. And you know what's so funny, Chef? Yeah. If I didn't know better, I look at these pans, I can't tell which ones were used and which, one, which ones weren't. Well, that's the beauty no, of I'm it. No, I'm serious. If you, if you look at our... Right? Because Rochelle's like, did we use that pan? Pan's now, like, did we use that pan? <laughs> and you know what? That's no if joke. If you walked into my kitchen and had a look around, right. there's stuff that's been there three weeks oh, yeah. and there's stuff that's been there three years and it all still looks the same. It, it, right. It, and that's really the truth. And that's so cool. So, of course, keep calling. I mean, look, this... That is a thing Again, of this just came straight back out of the oven, right? Oh, so the standing man. roast um, rib okay. of beef just came out of the oven. You can mm. see no buckling, of course, in the pan. Mm. Here we go. I told you that this would now be cooked. I know that because of my um, kinetic thermometer. So let's have a little looky-see here. I'm going to go ahead, slice this. It's going to be on the rare side of medium rare. What did I tell you? Beautiful. And you know that because of that thermometer. But look at the quality of this I roast know. beef. But remember, look you know, the thing and is, fantastic there are, is, there's bakeware, and then there's what Chef Curtis Stone does. Have a taste of that, my darling. And by the way, if you have not tried any of, of the chef's amazing meat, mm. wow. We're just oh, saying yeah. wow. Oh, so yeah. this is the yeah. Angus Pure. Ooh, the grass-fed beef. Oh, my goodness. That is so delicious. Mmm! It's going to be your jam. Oh, wow, yum. that's good. <laughs> it's double yum. Steaks as well. Mm -mm. Steaks available. Mm -mm -mm. Well, thousands Ooh. of you are also picking up the companion uh, cookbook. Mm. I cannot recommend this strongly enough. Remember, from sweet to savory, she had us at sticky buns. You know, <laughs> she did. You'll never be able to live it down, Rochelle. Don't feel special, Shannon. <laughs> She's shared those sticky buns with everybody. Yes, she has. <laughs> Well, we have the last show with your today's special and much more. Keep those calls coming. And don't Back. hang up on your today's special. Here's your merry update for today. Let the gifting begin. Gift now and get our best deals of the season for everyone on your list. And we want to make your holiday shopping easier and stress-free. So we're giving you two extra hours to shop our today's special. See the premiere every day at 10 p.m. Eastern, all season long. And today and tomorrow, we have five flex pay on all electronics, kitchen, and food items. Find your merry on HSN and HSN.com. Thing 
I love about shopping at HSN for the holidays? Oh, that one's easy. Flex Pay. Flex Pay is like Santa's little helper. It allows me to get everything on my gift list and make monthly payments with no interest or fees. Even if you're on the naughty list. I got a gaming system for my nephew, a pair of funky boots for my sister, and a little something just for me. FlexPay allows me to be the best gift giver I can be without the worries of paying for all of my holiday shopping at once. Beat that layaway. Our number one brand, the man responsible for our today's special that thousands of you are still calling on, <laughs> our birthday boy. Uh, Top Chef Masters, award-winning chef. You've seen him, Biggest Loser, and so much more. And you're bringing us the little pan that can. The little pan that can. So True. let me tell you where this pan came from, because this is a really cool story. My babies, my little boys, when they were still little babies, were just drinking milk left, yes. right, and center. And you know what it's like trying to pour hot milk or warm milk from a saucepan into a, into a little bottle? It's virtually impossible. It so I was like, I want a pan that's a jug that I can pour from. So that's where this pan came from. Now, of course, I'm cooking pasta in one, right. and I've got some veggies in the other. We've built in these little strainers. You can see the large strainer on that side, Beautiful. and then if I flip it around, the smaller strainer on that side. So you can just go ahead. You don't have it to get can. a colander out. You can just strain things straight out. So you, I've got you, some you veggies can. I blanched. Hey, by here. the way, there are only 2,600 of these to go around. This wow. is the only area. Chef, as you tip this up, can you also show the bottom real quickly? Oh, yeah. Because the thing that really got me was not only the crazy price, yeah. this is made just like you make your breakthrough oh, cookware. Oh, yeah, this is a piece of cookware right, for it's us. It's a piece yeah, of cookware. Absolutely. So uh, I think, Stainless Steve, what, steel base. we have only two colors available at this point. I'll double check on that. Um, remember, it's the only area of the visit. I, uh, okay, it is. Turquoise and red. Final call, final quantities. I don't care if you're doing boiled eggs, if you're doing your steamed asparagus, if you're doing clams and mussels, if you're making your own tea. It's funny, Chef. I think people get this pan at home. And first of all, it's the perfect size for mm -hmm. that odd burner out. There's always yep. that odd man burner that's like, what am I going to put, put on that right. little thing? But the, the capacity is almost deceiving because it looks like it a small It looks small, profile, but it's not. But it's not. Yeah. It's like well, a clown car. Here's <laughs> what I love about it as we're talking about Thanksgiving. Here I've got some, ma some mashed potatoes yep. and some gravy. Wow. So, I mean, look at what oh, you can do with that. Oh, man, oh, man. Right? But imagine if this becomes your little sauce boat. Yes, sure. you can totally make your gravy or your sauce you in here to go with the turkey. Yep. But you can also just take it straight to the table sure. and use it as your serving oh, vessel. look at vest that. That's beautiful. Um, hey, uh, don't forget everything from Chef Curtis is on five pay flex pay. Flex pay, of course, anyone can use that. We've had thousands of new faces today. You call the toll free number, you're getting it at home for less than five, well, a little over five dollars. And you're getting the little pan that can, makes the cutest gift. I can promise you, they don't have this size. They don't have this pan in their kitchen. Right. But because of the profile, mm -hmm. and I know if you have this, call us. It never leaves my stovetop because oh, whether I'm boiling water one. for tea or if right. I'm, you know, anything and everything and everything in between. And look, this is this is the perfect little rice cooker. Yes. And watch how it comes out. This is the coolest part. I'm going to give that a little shakey shake. Oh, come on. Look at this. Boom. So even nice. if it gets a little crispy, yeah. it still holds in there. And look right. how fluffy and delicious this okay. rice is. Do you know what? Over 500 were gone, and this is the only airing. This is it. Steve, this is your only that, chance, that you guys. puts us at what? A little over 2,000 left for the entire day. I'm guessing. So only chance, even though Curtis is on uh, tomorrow, can I be all fancy and ask you a question? Yeah. Can I do those holiday panettones and all panettones. of those little panettones, you all sure? those little fancy yes. stacked cakes? <laughs> is the answer. You I, sure can. Okay. I just got back <laughs> from the land of the gnome, you know, the Scandahoovia. So I'm thinking, oh, those little <laughs> holiday desserts you can do. But you know what? I could even do He's like, the they're land never going to let you go. What's the land of the gnome? It, it is. The little gnomes. The little Scandinavian gnomes. <laughs> you put them in your kitchen. They're good luck. Oh, I'm really? serious. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How many eggs you got? Well, look, I just, <laughs> I just boiled some eggs. Hard-boiled eggs. Now, I'm going to pour them back into the bowl, which I know is counterintuitive, but I want to count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Whoa. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, now seventeen. Now you're just showing off. So I didn't lie. You said how many? A dozen? I was a like, dozen? no, I think more like yeah. sixteen. There you go, seventeen. I undersold myself by one. Wow. But um, can I ask you something yeah. stupid, though? Because if you, you've really 
literally stack these to capacity. Yep. Am I still getting even heating, even if I overload the pan? Here's what's so cool. Because it's the stainless steel right. um, disc on the bottom of the pan, and because it's the Dura pan, nothing's gonna stick, right? right? So I'm making hot chocolate in here. Um, so nothing's gonna stick, which means, of course, nothing's gonna burn. Right. Look at how this pours, Shannon. Have you ever poured from a saucepan like that? Not like and this. stopped it instantly like that without no. it dribbling everywhere? Nope. I'm pouring hot chocolate knowing that that's not going to pour. So now I'd add a little whipped cream, right. obviously, hey, to that. Chef, one other point, I forgot to mention this on the bakeware, I apologize, but it cleans out as easily on the exterior as the interior, and I don't want to steal any thunder here, but I'm just going to grab one of these damp paper towels, and what is that, mold wine? Mold wine. Oh, dear. And look, I said I'm not going to spill it. You buried the lead with the eggs. You buried the lead. So uh, use that hot chocolate, but that's the other thing that's so cool. Even, you know, mm -hmm. creamy chocolate, cheeses, gravies, whatever you got. Oh, yeah. Um, this is about the only way you're going to get me to do the dishes is <laughs> on live TV. But there are absolutely no worries here. Try it for yourself. Uh, Carolyn in Maryland is a big fan. Carolyn, say hi, hi Carol. to Chef Curtis. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, Carol. Carol. Sorry. You know, Carol, Well, she's just, not going to answer if you keep changing her <laughs> well, name. Exactly. Hey, Carol, Hi, Carol, I just keep adding initials to your name, apparently. Hello, Carol. Hello. How are you, darling? I am fine. How are you? And happy birthday. Why, well, thank you very much. <laughs> so, Carol... Do you know how sweet this lady is, Carol? <laughs> she arrived to work today. She went and she bought me a cake, a little cake, made out of carrots, and then a big cake. She said, I don't know which one you want more, so I bought you both, and there's a little bottle of champagne as well. Isn't she the see? sweetest? Oh, that was what wonderful. A darling. But see... I would, I would cook you a whole meal if I could. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there Carol. you go. <laughs> hey, Carol, we love having you here, and of course we love Chef Curtis. What do you love about his cookware, my dear? Well, to tell you, I live in an RV. Yeah? Sure. And a lot of times I'm camping without water. Oh, sure. It's what I have. Yeah. And the cleanup is amazing. Yes. Oh, Very good. little water, easy cleanup. And That's a good point. it's just wonderful. I'm yeah. going to put a sign on my door that says, welcome to my Chef Curtis Stone Kitchen. Oh, I love it. Boy, you are taking glamping and oh, RV to a it. whole new level. Carol, we, oh. can't, we can't do these shows without you. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you, sweetheart. That's say, so kind. But I do want to say, yes. yes. my favorite article that you have is yeah. your chopper. Yes, we love that chopper. Isn't it You're great? Right. Oh, oh Carol, so good. gosh, I don't know how I live without it. Oh, well, Carol, we amazing. thank you. They're shooing us along. Happy Saturday, my friend. And yeah. uh, remember, thank actually, you, Carol. Carol makes an excellent point. This is perfect for glampers because it's mm -hmm. a low profile, but it still has large capacity, oh, yeah. a lot larger than, you know, you would expect. Yep. Uh, so, and it's also perfect. If you notice, Chef is demonstrating this on his infrared, or I'm sorry, your induction burner. So it yeah. is induction friendly. You can put it on a grill. You can put it on a hot plate. You name it. Uh, today's special. This is the last show where you can get it. We are in the tens of thousands gone. Your color, again, final call on all of them. Last chance for the year on Don't Bakeware for today's special. And remember, it's all, you know, I always say we shouldn't call it Bakeware because it's sheet pans and savories and sweets and pastries and everything in between. So... <laughs> We're also running a special promotion on our HSN card. Now, I know you get five pay flex pay on all of your Chef Curtis. Hey, you want to make it nine bucks? $20 off if you apply and buy on our HSN card. Chef Curtis continues. Keep those calls coming. We have one of my favorite cookware sets that he's developed next. HSN Cares is dedicated to empowering women and helping families in times of need. We partner with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital so that families never receive a bill from St. Jude because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. This year marks HSN's ninth annual HSN Cares Designer Ornament Collection, including over 25 exclusive ornaments designed by some of your favorite HSN personalities. With the purchase of every ornament, HSN Cares will donate $5 to St. Jude. Again? Okay, I know. <laughs> that one's mine, okay? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Honey. Mm -hmm. Perfect.
Perfect. All good. <laughs> Our biggest brand, our star of the day, our birthday boy, Chef Curtis Stone. Uh, here, do you know this is one of my favorite cookware sets that you put together from the pieces and the right. variety? I mean, you have like taken this over the top. Do you know people started to call on this before you even presented it? Seriously. <laughs> you know, and look, this is why. Eggs and bacon and yeah. tomatoes and boom, oh. breakfast is served. Boom. That's why this pan is so successful that because it works so crazy. well. crazy. Hey, before I go over to the what you get, and then we want to keep saying hi, let's show you what you're receiving. By the way, it's like buy one or two pans and get everything else for free. Because when I said this is hands down, I think the most versatile, the best variety of mm -hmm. any of the cookware sets that you put together. You choose turquoise, the black, or my red. And then, of course, you want the companion mitts. You need the mitts. Now, we're talking mitts. about being a stocking stuffer. Maybe mm -hmm. someone can stuff your mitts, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> exactly. Because this is looking very festive to me. Yeah. And I don't know, we've only got a few hundred in the I red know. and a few hundred yep. in the black. So well, last call on the uh, on the mitts. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. In fact, you know what, Mark? I don't know if it's possible to put that if purchase separately in my preview monitor or not. It might help me out in terms of value because I, those I don't don't have memorized. Ooh, yeah. So, oh, perfect, perfect. Let's just show you. First of all, it's huge, as a local car commercial would say. Uh, but you are getting the 11-inch fry pan. That is a $60 value. The three and a half inch sautés. That's another 60. Six quart. Now, you know what? I'm going to argue with that dog on screen. There ain't no way you're finding that five quart, that six quart. Look, I even called it a five quart at that price. Poor Deke, he's getting his steps and he's like, can you just go on vacation again? Because you're wearing me out. But the six quart stock pot, there's no way, in my own opinion, that you'd find that at 55. The round grill pan, I can tell you, we have sold for more than $50, even as of today's special. One and a half, three, the crepe pan, the egg poacher. Do you know, I use your egg poacher for little mini meatloafs, I'll use them. You can even use them in your sous vide. In fact, Rochelle, can I steal one of the little egg poacher inserts to show Definitely. everybody? Yes. Uh, and as we do that, one. let's go to New York because Carla is shopping. Are you frying in your pan? I'm frying over there. I'm poaching, poaching over here. I'm okay. sauteing over here. Awesome. Who we got? We got Carla? We got Carla in New York. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. Yeah. Welcome. Hi, Curtis. What an honor to talk to you. How are you? No, I'm God really good. No, uh, God Rochelle. bless you too. Rochelle, Rochelle. Rochelle, <laughs> Rochelle. Rochelle, <laughs> Rochelle. Yeah. Listen, I, you know, I got, um, I bought the uh, the baker set, the three uh, baking sheet oh, sets the, today. Yes, yeah. the sheet pans. But I got a lot of your stuff, I got to tell you. I got um, your muffin popover. Oh, yes. And the regular muffins. I worked them to death. And then the 14-inch round Duro pan that I bought that you used to have. Oh, yeah, oh, that, that's yeah. the multi purpose pan. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. I just love that pan. Now, I know you have one in a 12 inch and you made a dome lid for it. I've been looking right. everywhere oh, yeah. for a dome lid on that 14 inch. Ooh. Do you think you can come up with one like that? Oh, Ooh, that's call. a nice idea. Good that call. like stainless steel dome lid, yeah. you mean? Like the voila yeah. lid? It, absolutely. Yeah, so, that it, so that it bakes nice the idea. food, you know, like how the domes do because I just love that pan. Yeah. And um, I bought your uh, chicken uh, vertical cooker, you know, that yep. came with that little grill thing that you have yep. at the bottom mm -hmm. of it. And that 14 inch is wonderful because it catches all the juice from the chicken. It and then does. when it, it's like a rotisserie, and then when I'm finished, I love serving yeah. it and even putting it with that dome lid, it just makes it look like. Carla, you know. Carla, what's your address? It sounds like you know exactly what's going on. I want it's to come true. over for dinner. Exactly. Yes, right. Yes, Car so you would love my cooking too, I'm sure. Oh, well, Carla, we love you. Thank you so much for stopping by Thank and sharing the good word. Sweetheart. Before we talk about technology, because we can't assume that you've, you've you know, been here, done that, got the T-shirt. Right. When's the last time anybody could deep fry in a beautiful stock pot like You're that? You're absolutely right? right. No, look, this is non-stick cookware that yep. we are deep frying in. You are not crazy. This is really happening. Beautiful. This is the power of the DuraPan. Now, yep. how do I know it's the right temperature? Because I have my 
beautiful little digital read thermometer. Down so there. if you just missed out on the other one, don't worry. All hope is not lost. I'm just trying to find <laughs> right. the right angle for you. Um, there it is there. I think, no, why can't that work? There you go. Do you know, that's one of the best um, things I've ever purchased for my kitchen. This is really great because it, it allows you to preset the temperature right. um, through here, depending on what it is that you're right. cooking. So that's a great Which, one. Which, by the way, is not only great if you're doing candy thermometer, right. deep frying, but that way you're not like opening the door a Correct. thousand times when yeah. you're doing the, the turkey for uh, Thanksgiving. But let's back up for a moment. If you are joining us, Chef Curtis Stone, you know you love him. He's our number one brand, Top Chef Masters, of course, award-winning chef and restaurateur, biggest loser. Let's talk about your technology and why this is so special, though, if people haven't let's seen it. Let's do it. Okay, so as I take my grits out, let's go straight into okay. the technology. So here we go. We make this out of forged aluminum. Why? Because it's fast and it's even. It gives you the heat where you want it, when you want it. We put that stainless steel disc on the bottom to give you extra strength. It also means that it's now induction ready. Five layers of the DuraPan is what goes onto the interior of this pan. It makes it so strong you can use stainless steel utensils. It makes it so durable that it will be around for years. Stainless steel handles means it goes straight yep. into the oven. There's really no way to beat this up. Now, I'm here with my uh, stainless steel Metal tongs right now. Utensils. I'm not going to damage those pans. Yep. And that's what's so great. Like, look at this as I turn my fish over. Right. Um, I've got, by the way, these tiger bamboo um, tongs oh, are also cool. available. Oh, aren't I like they cool? Those. Um, so you're able to do that and cook right. blackened fish. No oil, no None. butter. That's what's so cool about this, you guys. You will be cooking healthier for sure. You will. I'll walk over and show you what's in the pans again. Now, this food yeah. uh, sold out. I know you were talking about that with oatmeal earlier. Right. But when's the last time you saw, does that, I'm assuming that's steel cut oats. This is steel, cut, steel, cut, cut, steel oats. cut oats. And look at this. I'm pouring that wow. out. And now I'm going to put this pan back on the heat. It's burn let's it. burn that yeah. residue of the oatmeal on and let's see what happens. For sure. In the meantime, Catherine is calling us in Ohio. Catherine, welcome to the show. Hi, Catherine. Well, thank you. I heard a sound. Happy birthday. Hi, Shannon. How are you today? Thanks, Good. Thank you, nice Catherine. To, nice to hear your voice. Curtis Stone, your products are awesome. They are. Oh, I have you. bought so many of your items at this point and have started cooking more than I used to. Um, I've got your multi-purpose pan, your infrared induction burner, your bakeware set, uh, your lid rest. Oh, um, thank they're you, they're Sarita, just huh? awesome. They're so much easier to cook with. I've actually gotten rid of a lot of my older products that I've purchased in the past. Um, right. Just love it. Love your product. Oh, Dan, uh, thank you so much. What is it that you like about it? What makes your life easier having my kitchenware? The cleanup, obviously, is one of the best things about your product. Yeah. But the other thing is things don't stick. Right. I, I've had so many problems in the past trying to cook stuff, fry things, and they just stick to the pans. Right. Um, I recently made fudge brownies in mm -hmm. the uh, cupcake pan yeah. Yeah. without the cupcake little paper so cupcake delicious. thing. Yep. And then I turned around and put the fudge brownies <laughs> into the cupcake holder so they were for easy travel, <laughs> passed around in the car, and had no problem with uh, anything sticking in them whatsoever. I could just pick them right up with my fingers. Oh, Amazing. wow. Amazing. Well, Catherine, we can't do these shows without you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Enjoy the rest um, of your weekend. Could, could I Thank offer a quick oh. suggestion? Yes, yes please. I, I don't know if you realize it, but a lot of your, a lot of your customers that are purchasing your products are probably mm. in their 40s, 50s. Mm -hmm. We're bringing your product to the millennium, if you actually think about it because they're not watching your show. They're not getting the product that way like we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but people of our age, a lot of us are single. So if you could consider making some of your smaller items into like a, a good idea. mini pack, Perfect. you know, right. your smaller saucepan, your smaller skillet. Absolutely. I love your small omelet pan, yeah. your small saucepans with lids. Absolutely. I would great idea. purchase a big set. Yeah. of those if you have them available. Well, Catherine, Catherine well thank you said. For your idea, Very my thoughtful. Yeah. We appreciate the suggestion. Uh, so, Chef, before I show them what they get again, talk yeah. about some of the things you're doing for us okay, and so why. Okay, so over here I've got these beautiful New York strip steaks. These are the mm. Angus Pure. Go to hsn.com and yeah. find them. And you saw me just slicing it with that Santuku knife. We started with 2,000 of these knives yeah. today. We were down to 1,000 at the start of yep. the show or before that. And I yeah. think now we're down to about, how many have we got, Rocky, do you know? 
I think there's just a few hundred of those left. Uh, but anyway, I sliced that beautiful steak. Yep. I've got my blackened fish over here. Perfect. I've got poached eggs working over there. My oatmeal is over here burning. Um, so we've just got a bunch of stuff going on. I've got, I'm going to show you Wait, the big six-quart. By the six way, 700 pot. only on the knives. Uh, and we started with 3,000. 3,000, okay. So, Chef, this is a thing of beauty. So now, it does indeed conduct heat up the sides. So even though that's over full, oh, no yeah. worries, right? No problem. I mean, you can see it bubbling right in the center yeah. and all the way to the edge. Have a look at this, Shannon, in terms of the, the quantity, because this is wow, wow, a wow. six-quart stock pot. And have a look just Gorgeous. how much I'm pouring on out. Oh, it's man. It's like you can't quite believe yeah. the quantity. That's crazy. And then, of course, the cleanup yeah. is my favorite part. So as I come in here and just give this a real quick wipe, yeah. look at that. You're just going to go ahead, wipe that up, and you've got Genius. a perfectly clean pan again. Uh, I'll tell you what. I mean, that's why we'll show you that if purchased separately again. What's so funny, they said the value on that stock pot was $55. And you know what? I'm going to scold somebody because there is right. no way. I just, I, I challenge, I mean, I know we have to be conservative with our retail values, but where in the world you are going to find a five quart saucepan like this, your crepe pan. Now here's what's interesting on the crepe pan. We say like $49 on the if purchased separately. I have seen, you know, the big cookware catalogs that I'm alluding to a crepe pan selling for about half the price of admission. I mean, closer to that hundred dollar value. And then no one has this coating. The thing is from top to bottom, I don't care whether you cook a little, whether you cook a lot, whether you're looking to make brownie points with the in-laws, the, these are game changers. There's a reason that this is our number one brand. And the reality is, if your cookware is letting you down, it's not you. If you think you're not a great cook, chef, I think the interesting thing about what you do is you elevate the experience. People get confidence in the kitchen when you don't have to worry about burning or using right. metal utensils or baby in the pans, basically. Shannon, that's our, that's our whole motto. We say it let's is. give people confidence in the kitchen, happiness at the dinner table. And those yep. two things go really hand in hand. You wow, know? look at those grill so marks. Wow. You can see how I've just grilled that fish. And now what I'm going to do as I try and burn my oatmeal. <laughs> okay. It's funny when you're trying to do things that go I horribly know, right? wrong. Um, what I'm going to do here is just wipe that pan out. Again, yeah, you're seeing that char, wipe you can out see that's again. Black and again, fish. super easy. Right. I've got these pub burgers that I mentioned to you earlier on today. I'm going to cook oh, two of these giant You know, that's pounders. one of the things we haven't talked about yet, Chef, is a lot of nonstick cookware, the reason professional chefs don't like it is you're not supposed to get it hot. Right. You don't, I mean, get these suckers as hot as you want, basically. You don't worry about it, and then you can use a metal spatula if you so choose. Right. So no baby in the pans. That's what's so crazy. You're absolutely right. You see what I do? I try and get it as hot as I can. Yeah. I try and push it as far as I <laughs> right. possibly can. So over here, I've just strained some um, liquid out of my mashed potatoes. Yeah. I've got this little beauty. It's called the chopper mash, you oh, guys. Love Masher that. on one side, chopper on the other. Let's add a little bit of butter to that. And when right. I say a little, I mean a lot. Let's add a little bit of cream. And when I say a little, yes. I mean a fair bit. Amen. And then you can go in and you can go ahead. Do you like your mashed potatoes super silky and soft? Or, or um, do you like them a little, you know, chunky? I like mine a little more robust. Robust. Okay, a little good. more robust. So if you like a robust, what I do. I do is I leave the chopper. Otherwise, I would have flung it, turned it around for you and done it with the um, the masher as well. Nice. So you get it like that. You pour in a little bit more of that cream. You could use yeah. milk as well, you guys. A little salt and pepper. Beautiful. Now, don't forget, we've got those beautiful gravity mills um, for you again. Rochelle, do you have those nearby, my oh, love? perfect. I'm going to leave those nice and um, lumpy. Thank you very much. So you just turn this up and it does the work for you, it right? It does. So, so smart. You don't have to crank. You don't yeah. have to move it. You literally just turn it upside down and it starts cranking out. Same with the salt. Beautiful. You can use whatever spices you like. Right. Okay, so that's enough pepper and a little bit more salt. Gorgeous. Nice. Right. And that is it. It is done. We give that one final little um, turn around. And I like this cookware so much. I serve just like that. I Oh, I would. I mean, it's beautiful. Hey, Isn't Steve, beautiful? I just want to double check. Uh, if, 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 what do we? Could we show the mm. quantity left just real quickly? I think they're only like 2,000 or 2,100 for the rest of the visit. Uh, if you see that quantity left, just bear in mind. Oh, actually, sorry. <laughs> I think we still. Oh, perfect. Thank you, guys. 
Oh, wow. So fewer than 2,000. And remember, this was the first show. Of this? Of, yes, fewer oh than 2,000. And Chef is on with Rochelle and, and, and Eric and Kat and the team, the whole gang, uh, tomorrow. So you have to remember, bye-bye to this particular set. It's the largest one that he's uh, brought in for the holidays. You could easily split these pieces up. Uh, Chef, as you do that, I'm just going to show them. Sorry, Rochelle. Well, you don't think it's going to make it, Shannon? Uh, you know, uh, we're uh, in 110 uh, million uh, homes I and we've know. got 2,000 left. You're, You're getting good at this. I think we're going to sell out. <laughs> 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 so just to show you real quickly, remember we've got the turquoise, that beautiful mod blue, the red or the black. You're getting chef's recipes, but when I say these are arguably the most expensive a la carte pieces that you would find in any cookware store in America, I'm going to start with the crepe pan. And remember, whether you're doing egg white crepes, you're doing keto and you're making them into little uh, noodles as an alternative to pasta, try to find a pan like this for $100. And I say we, I know our retail value says about 50, but you know, I'm going to argue with our retail value in a lot of different ways. Think about this six-quart stock pot. No. It's funny. I keep wanting to call it a five-quart just I'll because just the price is so it. good. We say this is a $54.95 <laughs> value. I say baloney because if you can find a pan like this, induction-friendly, this is all exclusive to HSN, non-stick that is not only dishwasher safe, oven safe to almost 400 degrees. We say 375, uh, of course, without the lid. So you can actually roast. You could do a beef bourgnon in this. That, if you could find that for $80 or $90, you're doing great. But then, of course, your one and a half, your two, your three, you get this deep sautuse, which, Chef, I wanted to ask you about these inserts on the poachers. Yeah. Now, I like to do these for, like, little mini souffles. That's a great idea. You know, mini yeah, little frittatas. Little yeah. frittatas. But the big thing I want to point out is it's a two-in-one pan. Mm -hmm. So this is actually removable, and then it becomes that big, beautiful, deep saute. So any way you look at it, of course, that beautiful French skillet, it is all here for less than $36 on your credit card. You know, the thing about this is, Chef, I think the reason that you've become our number one brand is you, you really put your money where your mouth is. It's not like it's, right. these are pans where you get them at home and it's like, well, that didn't do what it did on TV, right? Because right. we've all had that experience. For sure. And look, Shannon, look, here's what I was telling you before. Let's put the um, oatmeal on and burn it. Watch right. this. Come over here to my cutting board. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, we're showing off the value. <laughs> show off the value, we're my showing off the value. Show off the value. <laughs> exactly. I'll show you the value in how my burgers look. Um, <laughs> exactly. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> uh, so, you know, look, we know it's an incredible value. You guys are getting this for an absolute steal. That was oatmeal. Watch this. Oh! Look, the pan's clean. hey -oh. You know, like, it literally, nothing will stick to the pan, even burnt on oatmeal. Yeah. You know, so, that's yes, that, that's amazing. Have a look at our egg poachers. Oh, now, you these. mentioned these just oh, a minute I ago. I'm just going to pick it up, and look how it just yeah. falls straight out. Again, oh. that non-stick is just so yeah. unbelievable that it just falls straight out like that. It, oh, we're going back oh, to the phone Let's lines. go to California, where Rosalie is calling. Rosalie, Hi, welcome Rosalie. to the show. Hi, Shannon, I love you. <laughs> oh, well, Rosalie, we love you, and boy, don't we love Chef Curtis. I love, love him, too. I have your products I bought back in 2015, and I use it every day when I do my cooking. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make dinner in a little while, and I'm going to be using them. What are you going to make, my darling? And happy birthday, Curtis. Thank you Aww. so much, Rosalie. Rosalie, what are you cooking for dinner, sweetheart? Um, right now I'm going to make some rice in your saucepan. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yesterday I did some spaghetti sauce, so today I'm going to cook some rice. Perfect. And I, I love how they're easy cleanup, like the other lady said before. Right. And, they really um, are. hardly any oil you have to use, so they're great. I just love them. So keep it up and uh, keep your color turquoise blue because I love that. That's all my stuff in that color. Nice. Oh, thank you, <laughs> well, darling. Well, Rosalie, I'm so glad. we love you. Thank you for the good words. We Happy really shopping. Have a it. safe holiday season, okay? Thank you, darling. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rosalie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so... Okay, now, Shannon... Rochelle just pulled this out of the oven, yep, right? Straight this out is, of the oven. This is the uh, braised beef. Now, you see, I'm yep. using my oven mitts. I think the red has just sold out. We have the black oh, left. the red is gone. The red's You're gone. Right. The red is um, gone. The blue, we still have a few of the black. So if you okay. want it, give us a ring and grab it before it's gone. Perfect. Ha check this out. Like I said Whoa. before, these really steamy lids, I like to put straight onto my yeah. lid rest so we nice. don't make a mess in the kitchen. Then I'm picking up my bear claws. These guys here, they just do such a great job at tearing apart any kind of pulled meat. So this is braised beef. Again, 
again, that beautiful, slow-cooked Aussie grass-fed beef um, that we're just becoming so and so in love with, both at the butcher shop down at Gwen um, in Hollywood and all the way to your kitchens as well. But look at that. Slow-cooked and fantastic. You're doing that in non-stick cookware, ladies and gents. The Durapan really has revolutionised the way it, it we has. think of non-stick, and I'm so proud of it. But you know so what? You don't it. sell millions of something, and exclusively here, becoming our number one brand, if you're not doing something special, the unconditional money-back guarantee until the end of January. Right. We're talking about, you know, find your merry. Well, this will make your holidays bright and beyond. You well, Shannon, little look, crepes at, look at this. Crepes with no oil or yeah. butter, right? You can nice. see me just pouring that batter in, yeah. and you'll see me just lift that up Beautiful. and turn uh, and turn it oh, as well chef, you know that is dynamite by the way have yeah. a look at this tiny little ring that's yeah, what i'm cooking good on point. okay and the pan's twice its size so and it still will conduct even the heat. heating even heat conductivity metal utensil safe oven rochelle 375 without the lid right yeah. so 375 without the lid so remember again mm. i don't care if you're doing that beef bourguignon if you're doing that beautiful roast if you're doing seafoods if you're deep frying that grill pan is a customer request i mean everybody said i want the grill pan in a set so i think this is the, your most versatile set to date i really yeah. do i mean I, in I, terms I think of variety for sure. I mean, look at this, Shannon. Into this pan, oh, I'm throwing man. Parmesan cheese. Let's burn it. Let's make a real mess, and then let's okay. see what we can do with it. You I got, know we've only got a few seconds to go. you got 90 seconds, my friend. Wow. Can okay. you do it? I can. I've got cheese burning. I'm throwing chicken He's in the bowl. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Um, He's not. Look, at oh, the, wow. look how much you can fit in here. But you know what? Even Four when chicken you breast. crowd Thanks, the pan, you can hear that beautiful heat conduction. Right. So the whole idea is metal utensil safe, oven safe, dishwasher safe. You'll never need the dishwasher. But if this does not transform your cooking overnight, uh, I'd, I'd be shocked. That's the reason he's our number one brand with an extended holiday return policy until the end of January. Is that crepe almost done already? So this crepe is already oh, yeah. finished. Have wow. a look at this. I'm going to gently lift it wow, up, wow, wow. flip it over, and look at how beautifully mm. even mm. that has conducted the oh, heat. Crazy. You know, a couple of spots where it's bubbled, but look at that beautiful golden brown all over. Really stunning. All right. Well, you know what? I've, I've been slacking on my leftover. <laughs> um, so. She's been in Minnesota. She's had nothing to eat for the I last know. 10 days because... So, Basically, you know, that's job number one. Not gonna lie. So okay. $59 or 35, oh, I'm sorry. $35 and change. All right. So look at this cheese, Shannon. I know we're walking Sounds in about good. 30 seconds. We're walking, you, we're talking. We've got one more hour to go here. Yes, Have we do. Have a look at this cheese. It's really started to get very dark caramel over there. Once that cheese starts to burn on, you would think it's a problem. But don't worry, it's Durapan. So this is what happens. You literally wipe it out and boom, you're ready to cook in it again. You oh. know, the, the cheese, of course, and the cloth, they are a different story. But yeah. the pan itself, you will be able to Beautiful. have kitchen design disaster after kitchen disaster without anything going horribly wrong. And that's a big, big deal. And remember, exclusively here at HSN, uh, we, we got so much going on. You, uh, we had to break down the set. Actually, do you know what, Steve, can I show the what your, the, the uh, if purchased separately value or you, you want to just move along? Should we just move along? 